Arena is finally out, and since she's an Archon, she must be good, right? There have never been a bad Archon in the history of Genshin, right? Just the name Archon instills power and strength, not to mention their godlike affiliation. So what about the Hydro Archon? What is Farina's strengths and weaknesses? Let's start comparing. Her best ability is her elemental skill. She summons three pets that does damage and attack on their own tempo. I'll mention the healing pet later since you won't be using it in actual combat situations. So the three pets last for 30 seconds with a 20 second cooldown, which means 100% uptime. Let's compare that with Yelan's elemental burst, which also scales with max HP. The burst lasts only 15 seconds instead of 20, but most rotations are going to be longer than 15 seconds anyway, so let's use the generic 20 second rotation as our comparison window. Over 20 seconds, Farina's pet attacks this many times. At talent level 9, each hit does this much damage based off her max HP. So over 20 seconds, we get a total of 196%. But Farina's skill constantly drains your HP, and while that drains, your entire team's damage gets multiplied. If everyone was at full HP to start, then using her skill will give you 140% original damage for pretty much the whole duration. If we add this multiplier to everything by her initial hit, then we get almost 270% damage. Now let's look at Yelan. You can usually land 10 to 12 waves of her burst in 15 seconds since you will lose some downtime from switching and using other abilities. 3 hits per wave means 33 hits on average. Add in her burst hit, and the rotation does about 285%. It's more than Farina's, but not by much. However, what if we add in Farina's team-wide buffs from her elemental burst, which also buffs her elemental skill as well as the entire team? Essentially, what her burst does is give stacks of fanfare, and when any unit in the party gains or loses HP, they get a stack. Farina's elemental skill will pretty much drain 50% of everyone's HP, so that equates to 200 stacks of fanfare. Healing that up will give another 200 stacks, and the stacks cap out at 300. At level 9, each stack of fanfare increases your damage by 0.23%. So if you heal up the party right after using her elemental burst, you get 200 fanfare right off the bat which slowly ramps up to 300. If we consider a 50% damage buff, which is about 200 stacks, Farina's pet ends up doing more damage. So what other benefits does Farina bring to the team? With the introduction of Fontaine, we got introduced to two arc alignments, Numa and Usia. Some Fontaine enemies and bosses have built-in weaknesses to these properties, but only the Traveler and Fontaine characters are able to use them, and only one of them, not both. Here's the split so far. Hydro Traveler, Linny, Remnant, Nouvellet, and Charlotte have Numa, while Lynette and Risley have Usia. But Farina, the almighty Hydro Archon, has both properties in her kit, letting her be the cure all to your arc problem. So let's review her pro so far. She can use both Numa and Usia attacks. It is super easy to keep 100% uptime with her elemental skill which means a constant slow application of Hydro for the entire fight. I can already see the Freeze team's drooling. She's got a healing pet that is useful while exploring the overworld, but not really useful in combat. And most importantly, she's got two crazy damage buffs. Her elemental skill can let the team do 140% damage, and her burst can increase the team's damage by another 75% at max level. Her personal DPS is also pretty decent and she's able to ramp up the team's damage by much more. But what's the catch? There's always a catch, you can't have a godlike character with no drawbacks. Well, there are some downsides. Obviously, she is a limited character and we don't know when she'll be back on the banner rotation, so FOMO is definitely in play. And with great power comes great responsibility. Her damage buffs drain your party's health. By a lot, not just a little, by a lot. So you will need a strong healer to utilize all these buffs. Her self-healing is not useful in combat, and definitely not enough to sustain the team. And while she does give a lot of damage buffs to attacks, those buffs do not help transformative reactions. Reactions such as Hyper Bloom, Electro Charge, Overload, Burgeon, and so on and so on, 
are only buffed by elemental mastery and some specific abilities. These do not benefit from the damage buff in Furuna's elemental skill or burst. And while she can easily apply off-field Hydro, the application is too slow for most of your Pyro Hyper Carries. Wu Tao, Kli, Deluk, Yan Fei, and even Yo Mia can apply Pyro way too fast to properly vaporize all these strong hits. So that's a quick summary of Farina's main kit, and what she adds to the playing field. Even with her caveat, she is a huge buff to most teams, especially those that already require a healer to run. She definitely changes things up like other Archons, and I cannot wait to see how her kit affects future characters. That's how she balances out. Hope this video was helpful, and as always, have fun out there, traveler.